Hello, everyone, and welcome to the World Blitz Scabble Championship. Today is Friday, March 12th, 2021. It is 4 a.m. Greenwich Mean Time, but it is still Thursday night back on the west coast of the U.S. where I'm coming at you. My name is Evans Clinchy. Happy to have you with us for this broadcast. Uh, this is going to get interesting. This is uh, week seven of Blitz Champs, and we are just getting into a pretty interesting part of the schedule as... Uh, the Dingo Group tonight is going to have two of the uh, biggest matchups of the season coming up, and uh, let's get right to it. Uh, a quick look at the schedule. Uh, so I, myself, Evan Clinching, going to be playing against Martin DeMello in just a little bit. And then after that, it's going to be Conrad Bessie Bichard against Peter Armstrong. So a very important match for all four of us as we are in this playoff race, and only two of us can advance to the playoffs. Let's look at the standings in this group. Uh, right now it is Conrad all alone in first place at 6-0, and and you can see Pete and myself very close with each other in second place. So I'm currently just one game behind Pete, and tonight I'm going to play Martin for nine games, and Pete's going to play Conrad for nine games. We'll see who does better, and we'll see who emerges in the top two spots after tonight. It's going to be interesting to see. And um, without further ado, I'm going to take a quick look at the Wiggles room and see if Martin is ready to go. It looks like he is. I'm going to say, hey, want to start? And we'll see if he responds. I see Conrad is in the chat, and he's already sleepy. That is a pretty worrisome development because your match is still an hour away. But um, all right, let's go to the board. And all right, we got my name up on the screen. We got Martin's name up on the screen. All right, we got all of our stuff on the screen ready. And let's see if Martin is ready to begin playing Scrabble. Looks like he is... Not yet responding, so I will just kind of sit here and solve for a little bit. Oh, he says sure. Okay, let's begin. I'm going to uh, minimize chat, and you guys can feel free to talk amongst yourselves. And it is me against Martin here. Game one. Here we go. I've got uh, not a great rack to start. Looks like Ioli might be the play, keeping LS. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with that. Ooh, I think snoozle is a word. I'm going to play it. I think. Not 100% sure of Snoozle, but it sounds right. I see it plays, oop, not like that, it plays here. Oh, it uh, no longer plays there. Um, looks like uh, not a lot of places to play Snoozle anymore, but uh, this might be the one. All right. Got a one bingo lead early, 85 to 21. Like to see that. He challenges and it's good. Okay. Oh, there's a bingo in this. I think aberrate is a word through the A. And that is blocked. Unfortunate. Do I have anything else? I don't believe so. Oh, wait. There's a seven. Rebater. I think rebater is a word. Rebater, berater? Maybe just rebater. Oh, terebre through the E is also good. Let's play the best bingo. All right. Nice lead early in game one. You love to see it. Uh, cutovers, I believe, is a word. Wow. Okay. Drawing very well. Let's play cutovers. All right. Feeling pretty good about game one. Need to not flag. Need to not let Martin bingo for 200 at any point. But uh, other than that, in good shape. Trying to get better as the tournament goes on at uh, managing my clock, and I'm pretty happy with how it's going so far in that department, but uh, a long way to go. Let's just keep scoring points. Yeah, looks pretty good here. Ooh, interesting cue. I might have some ways to score with that cue. Ooh, happier miser. Very nice. Okay. Only up by 106 now. That was a high-scoring bingo from Martin there. Got to keep on scoring. I see some ways to do that. Quiet looks like a pretty good play. 34 for that. Um, Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, Monials, Somnial, we have bingos here. All right. Always nice to draw well in game one. Kind of get your confidence going for the rest of the match. And I am fortunate to say I have drawn well so far. Looking to play Monials if I can. Ooh, that might have blocked everything. I don't see a spot for Monials or Somnial anymore. Limacons plays, though. Let's play that. Um, okay. Not seeing a lot of great possibilities for the X here. 
I do have Nox. That's probably going to be the best one. Ooh, Misery. Cool hook. We formed Misery one letter at a time. We added the M, then the S, and the E-R-Y. That's cool. All right. Well ahead here in game one. Doing fine on the clock as well. Can't complain. Uh, let's see. What's my best? Just going to play with this S and this P. Probably just about here for 30. Seems pretty reasonable. Martin is uh, taking a second to breathe for like the first time this game. <laughs> it's good to uh, have that opportunity to inhale and exhale myself. All right, he plays Hajj. I will continue with FAP as planned, and I don't think I drew anything that interesting here. I guess I could just play tag, balance the rack, and score a little bit. 23 for that. See what he does. He plays Gentile. Okay, let's uh, let's play tag somewhere else then. <laughs> I want to take out this spot for sure. He's got Adenoid, but I don't believe there's a spot for it anymore. Had to block Adenoid down here, which I believe I successfully did. And he plays Dean instead. All right, let's try and go out. Uh, wait, there's no... I thought like Pintar, but that's not a word. What am I doing? Um, maybe I didn't leave myself an out. Where do I play Rant or Tarn or something? I guess I screwed that up. <laughs> Don't see a spot for these letters. Uh, I think Ratu is a word. I'll just play that. Pretty good score for that, 24. All right, so feeling pretty good so far. Up one game to none, happy with that result so far. Did I miss a bingo? Somebody's mentioning Malison in the chat. I hope I didn't miss a spot for it. I looked. Oh, Malice. Oh, Moniel Samuel Malison. I didn't think about the third. Okay, yeah, that's my bad. All right, let's go ahead and put a win on the board. By the way, how's my sound chat? I, I, my uh, OBS is saying that it's, it's a little bit loud, but I don't think that's actually the case because I tested it before we started. Um, in any event, I'm going to go on and play game two, and there is sound. Thank you, WTF. I appreciate hearing that. There is sound. Good to know. All right, let's minimize chat. Let's begin game two, and here we go. All right, Martin is first this time, and I've got, uh, let's see here. Some kind of vim or veg type play, maybe. See what he gives me. I don't think there's really any longer words here, right? Is there a longer word than just give? <laughs> um, hmm. Well, that seems most unhelpful. What do I do with this? What do I do with this? This just seems... Not useful. I don't want to just play that. That seems terrible. Eh, I don't know. That. All right, I'd love to get an eye for Impetigo, but uh, barring that, I'll need to find a different play. Um, I'll just play, like, Vomit or something. Again, let's see what he gives me. Depends on his play, of course. Um, I don't think there's any ace besides just Impetigo. So bingoing is quite unlikely. We might have a little bit of a low scoring start to this game. Another one of us has opened any big hot spots yet. All right, so here we go. What do I get with this uh, with this hot spot? Anything ending in O, like uh, or ending in I? I guess Topi is reasonable. Twenty eight. I'm just gonna play it if it looks reasonable. I don't want to burn too much time. I have, like, I think at least one game every match this tournament, just, like, gotten too low on time and blown an endgame. I would rather make slightly imperfect plays early than make terrible, terrible plays late because I'm just out of time. Um, all right. Again, looking for an eye for a bingo because I've got Fumigate this time, but, uh, again, not expecting to get that open eye in space. Martin really taking his time. That could mean he's got a blank or something. Oh, it does indeed mean that. Hateful. Nice play. Okay. Um, what do I have in response to that? 
Anything from the H, like a six-letter word? Yes, I do. Humate. There we go. Ooh, blank. Love to see that. I got a spot for the J here. I could just play jaw or some or jog, I mean. Jog. Um, do I have anything in this one over here? I don't really like those plays. Let's just play jog. All right, going to bingo, I think. Ooh, so is he. Spinner. Okay. Down by quite a bit now. Uh, let's bingo up here. I see Florian seems pretty good. Ooh, do I have a bingo again? Maybe. Um, Novitis, Sovietic. Yeah, maybe I don't have a an eight that actually plays on this board. Wait, Ivoryist? They added that, didn't they? Oh my God, my new word knowledge is not very strong, but Ivoryist seems familiar to me. I'm gonna try it. Please stay on the board. I don't like being unsure of words. I used to know things. I don't know things anymore. Okay, it's good. Nice. Speaking of new words, they might have added bursty, but I'm again not sure. <laughs> oh, I wish I were more sure of things. Probably going to try bursty, unless there's like an equally good play that is not risky. But bursty looks like it's the play if it's good, and I think it's good. I guess I could play lurry. Gets rid of an extra R. It scores a lot less, though. I don't love it. I could play Buddy, but that just keeps all the R's. That seems terrible. Um, hmm. Wow, Martin is really taking his time. Last time that happened, it meant he had the blank. <laughs> it might mean that again. Ooh, long think and then a short play. That is suspicious. Don't like it. I'm going to play fast, though, and put the pressure on him to find his bingo quickly, if he does have that blank. Um, hmm, don't love that cue. Don't see much that can be done with it. Huh. I could just dump the cue for 11. There's a spot for it. Um... Hmm. Oh, okay. Let's take QIN here. That's much better. Wait, why did I play my N? Just QI would have been fine. <laughs> that was silly. All right. I have Veer to unload some extra E's and R's. Oh, ReZero is way better than Veer, isn't it? Got to play ReZero. Uh, oh, almost excreted, but not quite excreted. Uh, what do I have that's actually a word? Oh, I was going to play there. He blocked it. Okay. Uh, Dex. Dex looks pretty good. All right, six in the bag. Uh, escorted, sectored, what corseted, uh, closeted down here. Anything start with an R? I don't think so. Ugh. Let's just play one of them. Escorted seems fine. Okay. Oh, I didn't realize I was up by 160. Okay, <laughs> I thought it was a closer game. I guess I. So to run away with it after Dex and ReZero. All right, looking like it's going to be a win here in game two. Feeling pretty good. Lands, and I can go out with just Louis here. All right. Hello to chat. Oh, there's a Puneet S in the chat. Hello, Puneet S. All right, uh, let's mark on the board win number two. And I got a request for game three from Martin. All right, let's go on with game three. Accept. Minimizing chat. See you guys later. And I am first with, I think, a bingo. Doormat is a word. Uh, anything else? Uh, a, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. Uh, ba, ba, ba. N? Is there a word in that? No. C, U, B. All right, probably just doormat. I uh, would love to double the... M, but I'm not going to play <laughs> the crazy placement of Dormat. I'll play the normal one. All right. Good draw. I can just play Zig for 46, most likely. I like that quite a bit. Not sure if there's really much else to think about, except for uh, what's my backup plan if he blocks Zig, basically. I don't know how likely it is to get blocked. Okay, it's not getting blocked. Good to know. All right. Uh, let's play Zig. Um, okay, what do I have here? Something here like uh, Gad, 
I don't know. Uh, hmm. This looks like it's close to something interesting, but maybe not quite. Um, slang is 31. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'll just play it. Can't find much better. All right. Another blank. Feeling very lucky so far. Uh, I don't think I'm in a bingo, though. Not seeing much. Almost have a ridge pull, but uh, not quite the right tiles to play through here for a nine. <laughs> Um, all right, what do I have here? Paul, that seems pretty weak, but what's going to be better? Uh, I got a little bit of time to think. Something's better than just Paul, that seems so weak. Uh, is Glop better? 16, slightly better leap though. I'll just play Glop. All right, hydrate, thready, those are words. Hydrant also. Uh, hydrate plays now, that's good. Um, anything else to think about? Let's just play Hydrate. Wow, this is going extremely well. Just drawing bingos left and right. All right, both Bs, that's interesting. Uh, what do I do with both Bs here? Um, huh. Not seeing a lot of great spots for those Bs. Could play Buzz. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Where do I play the Bs? Could just play one of them. Whoop, that is the wrong letter. Let's play that letter. Can I draw any bingos with this? Not very many, I don't think. This is a silly fish. I'm not even fishing for anything. Play the S, four points more? No, that's pointless. Oh, terrible. Running out of time, just got to play something. I'm not going to flag this match. I'm not going to let it happen. All right, he bingos. I got to get a little bit nervous now. Um, hmm. I just don't know. Got to play something. Got to conserve time. Tough board. I like that I'm up by 42 on a board that is not easy to use. I can just fish the B here next turn if I want. I can play the S for 10 points more. It's probably worth playing the... Uh, I don't think Ochre is good, otherwise I'd play my bingo. <laughs> uh, I don't know. We'll see what he does. All right, let's play BOS. I don't think the S has much value anyway. Let's just take the 10 points for cashing it in. Um, hmm. Don't know what I have here. Whoops, I'm trying to play Viner. There we go. Those are the letters I'm trying to play. Very tough board for Martin to uh, get a bingo down on, so I just got to keep scoring and not open anything for him, I think. And I got to be cognizant of the time issue as well. Nope, don't play phony two. No phony twos, that's my other rule for myself. Stop playing phony twos, stop allowing phony twos as well. Both good tips to give yourself. It's just been amazing this tournament how many phony twos we've seen say on the board, even with like top players. It's just, it's so hard to not miss stuff like that. You just have brain parts when you're playing so fast. Trying to get better about that. It is not easy. All right, six in the bag. I'm going to play Ted. I'm going to lose 10 points for time here, so it's going to get even closer. But uh, wow, look at that ugly tile pool. There's the Q, there's three I's. The Q is not going to stick anybody, I don't think. There's one spot for it here. Oh, actually, it could stick somebody. I don't want to get Q stuck here. That's actually a concern. Oh, there's two spots. There's a Q spot here. All right. If I play uptown, I think I'm safe. Like, what's he going to do to me? Yeah, let's just play uptown. 
and he's got nothing, I don't think. Looks like I'm safe here. I see one spot for the ease. Let's go ahead and take it and go out. Whew. Weird game. I doubt that I played that perfectly, but uh, a win is a win. I will take it. And, oh, looks like my laptop is freezing for a second. It'll come back, I think. <laughs> and we're back. Okay. Let's go ahead and update the score. It was 2-0, now it is 3-0. And hello to chat. How are you guys doing? Yeah, seeing phony twos is a problem. It is a big, big problem. Uptown phone to you up. <laughs> nice. All right. Minimizing chat. On to game four. Except Martin. Okay. Uh, I need a G for regicide. Um, any other bingos here? Uh, maybe not. Uh, nothing with an S, B, yeah, it looks like no bingo. Do I have, like, any Z play at all? I don't really see very much. This is, uh, this is weird. I'm just not finding plays. Um, yeah, this is tough. All right, let's just play something lame. Uh, Vice for 14, I guess. All right, I drew Heroized, but that is blocked. All right, we're in some trouble here. Not feeling good about this game. Let's try and fight on. What can we do? I would like to leave bingos open if I can. Uh, this doesn't block things up too much. Uh, that does. <laughs> Not a fan of that play. Uh, isolation takes the eye for isolation, but uh, I don't think that's going to help me here. Oh boy, this is tough. He blocked, retained, detainer, all those. And now I just got nothing. Uh, what's like the five letter word from a Z that I have? There's got to be something. Come on, brain, find things. Jeez, uh, this is embarrassing. What do I have? Uh, I guess this is a year. I don't know. Well, this is going to be rough. I am down by over 100, and it's just not a good board. I got to do something about this board, but uh, I don't know what it's going to be. Hard to overlap this because uh, I don't have any letter. It goes in front of DE. Um, Retanned. Maybe I can phony Martin with retanned. Tanned again. You went to a tanning salon twice. Oh, man. This is just not fun. What am I doing here? Um, I don't even have the eye for isolation anymore. So sad. All right. Just got to score a little bit and stay within striking distance in case I draw something awesome. But uh, not feeling good about this game. Down by quite a bit. How do I give myself some fighting chances here? Um, uh, this is not good, not good. All right, got to just play stuff. I'm low on time as well. Huh. I don't like these uh, racks full of one point tiles that don't bingo. It's hard to come back from down 122 points when you're drawing racks like this. They just don't help the situation at all. What do I do? I'd love to, uh, you know, score a little bit if I can, but it is just not easy to do. Do I have a five-letter word or a six-letter word here that's interesting? Like, uh, elute keeps A-N-T. I'll try that. Ugh, three N's. You hate to see that. All right. Pinna. That plays one of the ends. Ugh. How do I play two ends and score some? Oh, Quintano is a word. That's probably how I do those things. Scores 18. Ugh. Oh, Martin, don't bingo. I don't want you to bingo. That's not very nice. All right. Uh, play up here. Can't give him that triple. I guess I should leave the triple open when I'm down by a triple triple, but uh, there's just zero chance of me ever getting that spot. He's going to block it every single gosh darn time. All right. What do I do with my life? 
This is a weird rack. Oh, I have Junko. That wasn't a slang term for bad tiles. Like, oh, this is some Junko. No, I actually have the word Junko. All right. Um, ooh, Vox, that's going to score some points. Whoop, why did I just zoom in? That's not good. Zoom out. Sorry about that. Uh, okay, Vox plays here. That's what I was trying to do. 47 points for Vox. It is still Martin's turn. Please just pass, Martin. You've scored enough points. Just just pass. No, that's too many points. All right. I play Vox, and... Man, he just keeps on scoring. Um, hmm. All right, I'll go for the moral victory of uh, not flagging. The actual victory is going to be pretty hard to get. Uh, ladders, rattles, you don't play, do you? No. All right. Let's just play words that are words. Get on with our lives. I kept thinking I was going to get some like cool overlappy play here, but GE doesn't take very many letters in the front. <laughs> Only an I or an O. I haven't drawn very many I's or O's, have I? Uh, okay. Words, what are you? I'll just play an S. I don't know. Not two S's, that'd be funny. Chess, not a word. Um, do I have anything here? Not really. Ugh. Um, hmm. Yeah, this is, this is brutal. I don't know. I just want to not flag. Moral victories. So it's all about setting up slung for myself. But uh, it doesn't matter because he's going to go out. <laughs> oh, he's not going to go out. Sweet. All right. Moral victory number two. I get to go out. Hello to chat. How are you guys doing? Ooh, look at those salation words. Constellation, desolation. Very cool. Did I miss hero eyes through the Z? Oh, my God. I am banned from life. That is terrible. You are kidding me. Hero eyes through the Z. That is unbelievable that I didn't see that. I said hero eyes, but I didn't look through the Z. I only looked through the S. All right. Martin gets a win. Let's write that up on the board. It is three games to one. Let's play game five. I accept, Martin. And goodbye, chat. See you guys later. You guys can tell me later what bingos I missed. Jeez, hero eyes. That's so bad. All right. Focus, focus, focus. Come on, Evans. You can do this. Um, I do not know whether this is a word. N8. <laughs> it looks familiar, but I don't know. I'm going to try it. I think it's good. If it's good, then I just drew Ignifies. I think it's a normal word, right? N8. Uh, my brain is just not functioning right now. Anyway, I do have Ignifies. Going to play that. Obviously, I'm a little bit nervous about the uh, open triple triple, but I still have to play my bingo. Oh, man, that's what I was nervous about. Literate for 131. All right, we got ourselves a tough game. Huh. I see unmanly. That's pretty cool, but is it actually a good play? I don't know. Speaking of is it actually a good play, I have E. Molten. That can't be a good play, though. Keeps U N. Yeah. All right, what's my actual play here that is a good play? What am I doing with my life? Um, it's just yum here. That's I don't even like L N O T as a lead. What am I doing? All right, I'm just gonna blow up this rack and I don't know. Twenty four points and keeping O T is fine, I guess. Dooley, those are... Oh, L-E, get out of here. I found the phony two and challenge it. Moral victory number three. All right. Oh, interesting cue. There's spots to use it for some points. Um, well, that's actually not that great of a cue. I guess there's just QI, and then there's something here like... 
Quaff. Yeah, those aren't great plays, but they're something. Um, all right. Oh, wait, does Quantic play? Oh, that's the play. All right. I <laughs> didn't see that at first. All right. Up by a little bit here. The free turn definitely helped because I was kind of struggling to get through that rack before, but got the little tempo advantage and got the lead. Doing not super great on the clock. Got to be concerned about that. Quantic takes an S. I could play like uh, Syrup or something. 33, that's a pretty good score, actually. I probably will play Syrup there. If I can undouble my eyes and score decently. All right, he blocks Syrup. Um, hmm, he blocks a lot of things. I don't really have much that I like anymore. Virus? That gets rid of my S. I don't want to do that. Uh, don't love it. Don't love it. Got to play something. Oof, don't want to play that. That's terrible. Oh, this is a bad play, but I'm just, I'm running low on time. I got to play it. Did not have time to find a better play than that. That's bad. 57 seconds plus the one minute overtime. Got to manage that clock. All right, let's just play wax and play it quickly. Up by 66, that's pretty good, but uh, he could bingo at any moment. Got to be worried about that. Huh. Oh, I don't have an R for Sierra. Okay, uh, that's, that's annoying. <laughs> Thought I had an R. Oh man, this is this is rough. Just got to play stuff that looks reasonable-ish. <laughs> uh, all right, that's pretty good. Ouvrier, get my French on. I don't think it plays as a bingo, but it plays as a 36-point non-bingo. That's pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and play. Wait a minute. No. Yeah, I'll play it. All right. Getting better at the time. And, ooh, I drew the blank. That is very, very welcome to see. He's got the other blank, maybe. Got to be concerned about that. Ooh, that is a cool phony. <laughs> it's a cool something. Word slash phony. All right. What do I have? Um, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, uh, wait, Armagero? No, yes. <laughs> All right, got my bingo down. You might find a valid word with that, Psychades rack. A, C, D, E, S, Y, blank. That could be something. I don't really have time to look for what he has. But uh, in any event, I'm ahead by more than one bingo now. So feeling comfortable at this score. Looking like I'm going to be up 4-1. I'm glad that I got better with the clock as this game went on. Oh, decayers. I think that's a word. Decayers. I'm, like, pretty sure of it, but let's just check. Five points. All right. It is good. Um... All right, it doesn't matter. Let's just not flag. Fit is a fine play, whatever. <laughs> All right, Z-E-E, -E, those are valid twos. I will pass. All right, got the win. Hello, chat. How are you? Um, Ouvriers. Do I have a spot for Ouvriers into the S? Or are you guys just uh, just talking about words for the for the fun of it? Definitely could have been missing bingos or something. I just wasn't... Uh, wasn't able to take the time to find stuff that game. I just got too well on time. All right. <laughs> Martin says, I wonder why Dooley came off. <laughs> I will tell him, yep. Yeah, a phony two there, unfortunately, for, Mar for uh, Martin. All right. Accepting his request for game six and minimizing chat. All right. One game away from winning the match. What do I have here? Probably no bingo at all, right? 
Uh, is there any eight letter word with any letter? Probably not, right? Um, G, no, R, I don't think so. Yeah, I think, I think no bingo. Could be wrong, but I think. Uh, this is this is really pretty weak. Like, do I want to play Diota for 16 points? That's ugh, lame. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> All right. Uh, interesting X. Not any like superstar play for it. Can I make a setup though? Like, uh, play Toe setting up Ox underneath it. That's dumb. <laughs> Um, all right. Well, what does one do with this nonsense? Uh, oxer, I believe, is a word. Oh, detox. That's probably a good idea. Uh, I mean, A for toadfish. Can I get an A for toadfish? No, I can't. All right. Um, let's just play. Pod is 33, foe is 28, I believe 33 is more, didn't major in math, but I think annoyer, that is an annoyer of me, that is too many points, Martin, don't do that. Um, I see like calf, just fishing away the K and the F. Uh, is there anything better than that? There probably is. That's not that good of a play, I don't feel like. Uh, I don't know. I have Kefir up here. No, that's not better. Let's just play Kef. 27 is a pretty good score, actually. Uh, okay. Um, boy, okay. Hmm, just kind of scanning the board for anything interesting anywhere. I just don't know right now. What do I have? Do I burn my S for Zeta? Oh, all the S's are still unseen. I guess I could play Zetas and try to draw more S's later. Hmm. Uh, what do I have? What do I have? This looks like something. Blue TI is a word, right? Like, I know it doesn't play in that spot. I'm just kind of, I think that's a word. Because it, it's the, the singular or the plural of uh, gluteus, right? Gluteus, glutei. I have not looked at like the highest probability sevens in an embarrassingly long time. All right, massive. That is a massive play for Martin. 70 points and the lead. Actually, he already had the lead. <laughs> Uh, Multi-age doesn't fit. Uh, well, if I'm not going to bingo, I probably want to play something here just to cover the spot. Like, uh, hmm. Guilt. Oh, that's such a bad leave. AEU, that's awful. But I have to hit, take this spot, I think. And, like, what's the better way to... Ugh, too low on time. Not the best play. But I just can't let the perfect be the enemy of the good, or whatever you, whatever that saying is. Got to play something. All right, I'm down by 77. If I can quickly draw a bingo and get back in this game, it's not impossible I could win. But uh, big underdog here. Uh, let's see. Got to play through these vowels. I'd love to play through the vowels and open a spot to bingo as well. There are spots to bingo anyway. Oh man. Oh, six points. Not good. That is not a good play. I am making ungood plays. Not good plays. At what point do I just like start opening triple triples? Only down by 101. That's not that many. I can still get back in this game if I draw a bingo like next turn or something. There's a blank on scene. Maybe I can bingo and then draw the blank. Oh, time's an issue. We got three seconds plus the minute over time. Hmm. 
Hmm. All right, let's open this triple and let's pray. <laughs> uh, all right, I have Jigs. Jigs looks like a good idea. He blocks it, of course. Um, had to expect that to get blocked. Not surprising as all. All right, Jess is a good score, 38. We're down by over 100 still. I uh, gotta keep scoring. Gotta keep playing fast, or maybe start playing fast is more accurate. <laughs> um, what do I do with my life? Oh man. Uh uh, just not working. Nothing is working. All right, I don't want to flag. Go to it for that moral victory of the non flagging. That is the goal now to play valid words before my time expires. I wish I could find more valid words. It's kind of hard to do. Ooh, triple, 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 triple. Here we go. Uh, I didn't draw it. And he, of course, blocks immediately. Um, wrong. Okay, wrong. Maybe he'll flag. He's got 58 seconds, 57, 56. Here we go. No, I don't think he's going to flag. Oh, he's going to bingo out. I'll just spike challenge, but it's good. Nice win by Martin. Let's put that up on the board. Yeah, that was not the best game. Scrolges, that's not a word. Get out of here. Scrolges, you're ridiculous. Uh, okay, up on the board goes with number two for Martin. Got to win one more to take the match. Can't get lazy. Got to keep playing my best. All right, or start playing my best. One win away from winning the match. All right, what do I have with this Z? Anything biz, uh, Zimbos, Zilbons. Uh, probably just nothing here, right? There's just no bingo. Um, all right. Conserving clock. Don't want to take too long. Need an R for Hornfells. Didn't get it. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I say that stuff. I never get the letter I want. Except for when I do. All right. Big score. 50 points for Flesh. Okay, need a D for Beholden. One time. Give me that letter I need. Um, if that doesn't show up, what else can I do here? Um, anything interesting with these letters? Uh, huh, I don't know. Must have something interesting through these letters. Don't get low on time. Play words faster. This seems really weak. 23. Yeah. It's kind of defensively not bad. I don't know. All right. Hmm. Is a bullock crazy here? I'm just going to play it. <laughs> Maybe I'll get a spot in one of these hotspots I'm creating. Hmm. Oh, I have a uh, cajon here. And I have, uh, doesn't matter what I have there, let's play cajon. All right, uh, Q, 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 what do I do with it? Uh, QIS and SAN? I think what I do with it is hope for a better spot than Martin gives me. Give me a spot to play this cue. Uh, looks like there's no place for QI anywhere at all. Until now. <laughs> um, all right, now I have QI for 26, or I have quit with a slightly better leave for 26. Let's play this. Uh, stringed does not fit, I don't think, right? 
Yeah, next string to not a word, sad. Would love to get an eval in open space, like give me an A for dra uh, grandest or dragnets or something, but uh, not likely. Probably going to be going for some kind of fishing play next turn to uh, keep my bingo options open for the turn after that. Got a little bit of a lead here up by, what is that, 59, 69? I can't count, 69 points. Oh, I didn't notice I gave myself a squint spot. I could just play squint for, yeah, that's a lot of points, 36 for gets. Didn't see that at first. I'll probably do that. It's much better than fishing and scoring like 12. <laughs> wow, I should not be doing that, like playing words like quit and not seeing their hooks. It just didn't occur to me to have that hook open until I suddenly realized that I had it. Well, Martin is really taking a time. Oh, dole or rise. Um, not good. Okay. Gets and okay, did I draw a bingo? Yes, I did. Unmitered. Unmitered is the play if it's not blocked. Root beds, get out of here, Martin. What are you doing? <laughs> Root beds. <laughs> uh, I did just give him a triple triple, actually. I should be a little bit worried. Uh, he has D E O O R S blank. Uh, that's probably not going to fit with the U in third position, right? Like, I see outdoers, but that's just a normal triple. I think I'm safe here, but I probably should have looked before playing my bingo. <laughs> uh, all right. Just need to not get triple tripled on and not uh, randomly use two minutes off my clock. All right. Villa seems fine. Just looking to make reasonable looking plays in a reasonable amount of time. Uh, what do I have here? Like toys? That's not a good play at all. Why did I do that? <laughs> Gave myself a spot for the X that I just drew, which is very fortunate. All right, he bingos with valid words this time. Um, let's see here. Pow! Take that, pow, pow. All right, still looking for something to do with this X, not really seeing very much. Um, huh. Two tiles in the bag. I don't think I'm in danger of getting bingoed out on, but maybe I won't take the chance just in case. No, he definitely can't bingo with that pool, right? Um, I'll just play one tile anyway. Martin's getting pretty low on time. Last 15 seconds here till he flags. 12 seconds. All right, he plays Gave. He has Ami, A-M-I-E. There's at least one spot for it. There's a couple of spots for it, I think. I have Agave. Um, i got to play the X. Oh, that just gives him a giant spot for Ami. That can't be right. Uh, all right, just don't do anything stupid here. Pay attention to the clock self. You got 45 seconds. All right, I'll just play Grex. Not the best play, but uh, it's a play. He's got, oh, maybe I actually blocked the spots for AMIE. Because I saw, oh, he just ran out of time. Okay, wow. <laughs> Hello, chat. How are you guys doing? Oh, Paneer. I could have played Paneer. Oh, that would have been cool. Um, all right, win on the board, number five. Five to two. Two more games between myself and Martin, and then uh, don't go anywhere. We're going to have Conrad Bass Bouchard and Pierre Armstrong coming up after this. So looking forward to watching that match. There's obviously a lot on the line in this group with myself, Martin, Conrad, and Pete all playing tonight. So looking forward to watching uh, Conrad and Pete right after this. All right, two more games with Martin. Let's play number eight right now. I accept Martin. Let's go. And... Uh,
Oh, did I let a phony two go? All right, whatever. Minimizing chat. Let's go back to the game. Um, what do I have here? Nothing with an E, I don't think. Hard nest. Yeah, there's no word in that. Um, all right, if I can't bingo, what can I do? Huh, what do I do with a rack like this? It's 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 interesting, but uh, I can't score like... I guess I'll just burn the S and score 20. That's not that good. Uh, I don't know. That's not a very good play. All right, I drew a good draw, I think. I see quit rent. I see nutrient. I got bingos. Which one's more? Nutrient is 77, and quit rent is 86. That is more. Also, have intercut, tincture. Those are not as good. All right, quit rent. Ooh, blank. Uh, wow, this would be, if I had a bingo, it's a really fun one. <laughs> I don't know what it would be, though. Momosome or something. Mono. Actually, wait a minute. Mono. Oh man, I wish I knew like low probability stuff. Uh, BC mono dome, mono mode. Mono song might be a word. G H I J K L M N O P mono poem. Monosome does sound like a thing, but I'm probably making it up. Monosome. Momo roll. I don't know. What would a monosome be? Like one chromosome? Wait, is that a thing? Is that like a genetic mutation thing? No, that's not a thing. Stop itself. Just make a valid play. You don't need to bingo this turn. You can just play your M and bingo next turn or something. But what if monosome is good? I don't know. Ah. I'm probably missing like a super obvious common word. Um, all right. I'm not going to bingo. I give up. Whoa. Okay. I should probably play two M's if I can. This is uh, not a very good rack if I keep... Two M's. Mood? Oh, that's so lame. I might have a bingo. I'm going to play Mood for 17. All right, I got to play it. Too low on time. Man, if I missed a bingo, I'd be so mad at myself. Whatever it was, it was cool. All right, what do I have here? Forearms. Sea foam. Um, famous. Oh, I have famous. That is probably the play. All right, up by almost a hundred. Don't triple, triple Martin, or if you do, make it a phony one. I don't want to get triple, tripled on. Just don't like getting triple, tripled on very much. It's just not pleasant. Uh, I just have a bad feeling whenever I open a triple, triple against Martin. Just bad things happen. All right, I lucked out that time. Exol, Ulex, is there a spot for either of you? I don't really see it. I play it here, that's kind of lame. Um, Fluxen, no, that's not a thing. All right, Exol, that doesn't feel like a great play, but I can't find anything better. Uh, Lanceted and codal? I don't think that's a word. Codal. Doesn't seem right. Uh, GUDs. Oh, exalt. Exal takes a T. Who knew? All right, I'm only up by a little bit now. I've got to play some defense, I think. All right, that doesn't seem like a great play, but it's what I gotta do. All right, good to see the Z. That is a helpful tile here. I see one hot spot for it. Probably just gonna play boring old Za, 64 points. Can't imagine anything else being better than that. 
So I'm up by 36 currently. He could big go. I mean, the pool is, well, the pool's kind of clunky. V, V, W, Y, Y, F, G, G, B, B, J, K. That's a lot of bad consonants. Um, but there is a blank out there. There's a decent number of bingo prone vowels. I do have to be worried about him bingoing at some point. <laughs> also, if he does bingo, then he's going to leave all the crap in the bag for me. All right, let's play Za. Wow, I drew the blank. I am such a luck bucket. Oh my god. All right. Uh, favor. All right, not going to bingo this turn. We'll probably bingo on maybe one or two turns from now. Let's play blue. Ooh. Um, what do I have here? Oh, I'm just not seeing it. All right, I don't want to use too much time. I can bingo later. I don't need to bingo right now. Let's just play Vinic and let's draw. Oh, um, oh my God. Find words. Uh, man. This is not good. Uh. Wow, okay, I'm going to win by a couple of points, but that was uh, very badly played. I'm sure I missed stuff. Tell me what I missed, chat. Sisisne, what the hell is that? Sisisne, you're kidding. What did I miss, guys? Please tell me. Was monosome good, first of all? Or anything in that rack? Mono, mono poem? Close to Sisis Bay is all. Okay. Feel a little better. Oh, monosome? You're kidding me. Wow, but define monosome. An unpaired chromosome, that's what I thought it was. All right, I hate myself. All right, minimizing chat out of anger, accepting Martin's request for game nine, let's go. All right, six and two, looking to close out and go to seven and two. Would love to get every win that I can because it's a close playoff race with Conrad and Pete and uh, every game is important. All right, what do I do with this nonsense? This doesn't seem very good. Is it worth playing Ava or Ova? It just, ugh, A-G-O-Y. Yeah, that's, oh, actually, wait, those are, let's let her spell yoga. <laughs> Is that better? Yeah, it's probably better. Let's play yoga. Oh, my God, let's draw crap. Let's spend 29 seconds to score terrible and draw terrible. That, that's a great idea. Let's do that. Um, all right. Moving on with my life. Uh, at least I got a spot for my queue. I'll probably take him up on that. Wait, no. <laughs> I was going to play QI. Cat is way better. Let's play that. <laughs> Didn't see that at first. All right. Um, this looks like it's something interesting. Don't know what it is. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. Let's see if he opens anything for me. I am not feeling inspired by this uh, this position at all. What do I have anywhere? I guess Vim is fine. Vim is going to score pretty well. 31 points for Vim, keeping a you know okay balance leave, I guess. Not great, obviously. C E N O. Martin is taking his time. I'm going to say 40% chance a phony bingo is coming. No, that's too high. All right, he plays ace. Uh, all right, Vite. Uh, something like that is probably the play here. 
uh, COVID, I don't know. Well, it's almost conative, <laughs> but it's conative. All right, just be safe. Um, incoming, wow, bingo incoming. Doesn't look too likely to get blocked. There's other places on the board he can play his words. I think this is gonna come down, we'll see. Up by 40 points early, 83 to 43, and would like to get this bingo down. Oh man. What is Martin going to do? All right, he plays this leaf. Let's play the bingo. And, ooh, did I draw triple, triple, tribunes, turbines? I don't think I did. Ooh, touristy, very nice. All right, uh, what do I have? Tribunes and turbines play. Uh, not for like a great score or anything. Uh, Burstone, rubstone. Those don't play for a great score either. I don't think Disleaf takes an S. It would be dis. Wait, Disleafs? That actually might be good. Disleafs. I kind of like it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try it. He's not challenging yet. Oh, it's good. Okay, good. Whew. Yeah, that alpha gun looked familiar. A D E F I L S S. All right, I drew spilled right out of the bag, but I don't believe there's a spot for spilled, right? Uh, am I missing it? I don't think I am. Ellipsed? I don't think that is a word, ellipsed. You can be circled, but you can't be ellipsed. I don't think. Maybe you can. All right, I got blocked anyway. Don't have to worry about it anymore. Uh, I don't think I have a bingo that plays on this board, do I? Yogal, pertaining to yoga. No. Um, anything through an O, anything through a C. This is probably just nothing. It looks so close to so much stuff. Um, all right, I could just play lip here. Um, yeah, let's just do that. Oh, another X. I feel like I've gotten some good X draws this match. All right, I have Salix for a whole bunch of points. That's 83 in the lead. Um, not a great draw, but I'm sure I can make something happen with it. Opened, looks pretty reasonable. Gets rid of most of these vowels. Anything else like that? Any kind of play that uses the vowels and scores some. Um, looking like, no, that's not a word. No, I don't have any words that play there. All right, let's just play opened. And uh, all right, we're up by how much? 55? 55 point lead, 18 tiles still in the bag, long way to go. I'm doing a little bit better than he is on the clock. That's good. I might need that time to play on this endgame if it gets uh, a little phony at the end. We'll see. Hmm. I have a queen here for 28. Um, I have Yumung, which kind of blocks things up a little bit, which is interesting, but. Uh, only 18 points. It is interesting. I'm digging into the bag with a play, play like Yomong. Oh, he's fishing for sure. Wow. But there's two spots to bingo. Like if I play queen, I'm blocking bingos into the D. Let's just score and hope for the best. All right. Wagoned, Gowand. Uh, do those play? Probably not. All right. Eight tiles in the bag now. He is low on time. All right. Wog. I'm up by 60. He is fishing. Three in the bag now. All right, let's play quickly and hope that he doesn't bingo in the last five seconds of the game. Four. Ooh, Vogue, you're right. No bingo. Okay. Ooh, all right, I can breathe. I'm up by 40-some. 
I've got some time on the clock and uh, wait, is there a bingo here? Wait, read line? No. Needlier, geez. All right, I didn't see that first. All right. <laughs> uh, WA, did I play WA? Who played WA? Hello, chat. I see there's a lot of wah going on in the chat. Where's the WA? I don't even see it. Martin says good games. I'll tell him good games. Telling Martin, gotta go back to stream. See ya. All right, I'm going to say goodbye to Martin. Thank you for the games, Martin. That was a good match. And um, we gotta move along because Conrad and Pete are gonna be playing any second now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and adjust the scoreboard now. Put a zero. That's a that's an O, not a zero. Okay, there we go. There's a zero. Zero on the board for player one. Zero for player two. Get a picture of Mr. Bassett Bouchard here. A picture of Mr. Armstrong here. If I could find it, there it is, Armstrong, okay. Updating your scoreboard, we're gonna have Conrad and Pete in just a little bit. Really looking forward to this match. Uh, in a second, I will show you guys the standings in this group and we can talk about why this match is so important for both players. Uh, spoiler alert, they're both doing well. Um, all right, updating the name of player number two. That would be Peter Armstrong. Okay, let's get that nice and centered on your screen and let's take a look at the standings. So this is the Dingo group as we begin the night. Uh, Conrad was 6-0 coming into tonight and Pete 5-1. These two guys are first and second place in the group. Uh, they play each other right now and tonight one of them will win, one will lose. So you just saw me win against Martin. I'm gonna be 6-1. And if Pete wins, we're gonna have a three-way tie, six and one, six and one, six and one. Uh, but if Conrad wins, we're gonna have a very interesting race for, um, well, a lot of interesting races, really, because I haven't played Conrad or Pete yet. My last two weeks of the tournament, I'm playing Pete and Conrad back to back. So if Conrad wins, he's in a pretty solid place, but he could still lose to me. He could still lose to Jacob next week as well. So. A lot is still up in the air in this group. Uh, I don't think that this match, either way, is going to determine the entire playoff race. There will still be plenty of matches to be played that are still important after this one. But um, obviously a big swing here between Conrad and Pete. Uh, a lot is on the line for sure. Uh, so let's take a look at Wiggles and see if there is... Yes, there is a match between Conrad and Chaco PB. That is Peter B. Armstrong. Let's get underway with uh, Conrad and Pete. And it looks like Connor will get the first bingo of the match with Tinchell for 66. And Edages comes right back from Pete. So we are underway with game one, Conrad versus Pete. First place in the bingo group on the line. Actually, I guess it's not really on the line because even if Connor loses, he'll still be in first place on spread. So... I just won seven to two, so I am six and one with 49 game wins. So as long as Conrad wins three games or more, he will be in first place. Um, as for Pete, he is uh, very much in the playoff race as well. All right, so what have we got here? Pack for 41 by Conrad, making this a pretty close game, 120 to 107. Both players playing pretty quickly. Pete has the first blank, and he's got, uh, I would imagine he's got some bingo. Humerals through an H. Uh, is there a double-double through that C? I think uh, criminal doesn't fit. Uh, what is there? Anagram this. Just criminal. Okay. So no double-double with that C. And we can also anagram Humeral blank. Palmier. Ooh, Maulers with all the overlaps. Very pretty. 80 point bingo from Pete and the lead. A pretty big lead, up by 93. Let's see what Conrad can do about it. Not a great draw for Conrad after Pack. He drew a B, which is pretty clunky with a V and two Ns. He plays Bond for 21, keeping Vent, V E N T. Ooh, another blank for Pete. Uh, I don't think he's going to have a bingo this turn. No spot for something like Undulate or uh, 
Yeah, not seeing much here. How many eights are there in this rack total? Probably not super many. Ooh, but Sudan. I know where most of the African countries are on map, but, but Sudan is hard to find. Uh, let's see here. Undulant doesn't play. Mutandum. Yeah, difficult position for Pete. And of course, these are the positions where you lose a lot of time off the clock because you're looking for a blank bingo. It's hard to find one. It's hard to prove that there isn't one. And uh, suddenly you're like a minute lower than your opponent on the clock, and it's, it's a problem. Pete's got 45 seconds. This is getting rough. There's still a lot of tiles left in the bag. He's got to be worried about time management for sure. All right, he plays Cud, keeping a leave of Aunt blank, A-U-N-T blank. And he draws Tautened is a word. He'll play that, I bet. If I were Pete, I would just play Tautened very quickly. Yeah, or Unstated. That works too. Unstated, and he's got a 100-point lead almost. 22 seconds, though. 21-20. Clock ticking on Pete here. Plus the minute overtime, of course. I see Apron from the A as one option. Okay, Corn with the same tiles. A little bit fewer points, but 22, not bad. Conrad playing very fast. Definitely got to be aware of that if you're Pete. Prex from the P is an option here. Prex. Okay, Ox for 36. That's pretty solid as well. Okay. 117 points up. Pete's in good shape if he doesn't flag. What does he have here? Cedar. Okay, 31 points per Cedar. Leave of RR. But uh, the board is not super great for Conrad to bingo on, and he is ahead by multiple bingos, Pete is. Yeah, funny if lose on time, says WTF. I mean, it's funny if you're not the one doing it. It is agonizing losing matches on time because, yeah. Like when you're up by a lot and you just blow it on the clock, it is just the most frustrating thing. All right, so Pete has 32 seconds till he flags. 31, 30, 29 seconds left. He's got to play fast. This is worrisome. All right, he blocks the triple. He's up by 110. This is a just pure don't flag situation. <laughs> All right, he plays Oi pretty quickly. And Conrad is not drawing very well, so that is good news for Pete. 23 seconds until Pete flags. He's got to be very careful here. Conrad can take his time, though. He's got plenty of it. Minute five. I'm counting down. All right, he just plays two tiles. He's trying to flag Pete for sure. All right, Pete plays Jivey and he plays it fast. That is a great play for Pete. He's still got plenty of time here. 19 seconds with the bag now empty. Looks like he's going to survive this. Man, I don't know how he does it. It is nerve-wracking getting this low on the clock. But uh, it looks like it'll be okay for him. All right, your final score is Pete 485, Conrad 334, a big win and surviving time pressure for Pete Armstrong in game one. Let's put it up on the board. One nothing after one. Game two coming up. So a look at the standings in this group. Conrad is 6-0. and Pete is 5-1. and I myself, Evans Clinchy, just won, so I am 6-1. and It is a very, very intense playoff race between the three of us. And then Jacob Tidal is 4-2 as well. And Jacob plays Conrad next week, so things are going to get interesting for uh, for all of us. All right, back to the board. Game number two. Here we go. Cat to open. 24 points for Pete. Conrad with a kind of weird rack. I see Meow. And, okay, whoa, also a good play. Setting up his M for a little bit of scoring. All right, so Pete has the first blank, and he's going to probably not bingo with it quite yet, but he's going to have some kind of overlap play making Oka, I would imagine. Or, ooh, F-O, phony two, phony two. Will Conrad see the phony two? F-O is on the board. Looks like he's not seeing it, but he's, ooh, he lets it go and plays foe men for 44. That is cool, but uh, challenging probably better. <laughs> All right, so Pete is uh, still trying to bingo with this blank and looking pretty hard to do with these tiles. Just play through it, though. Fab keeping A, D, E, E, and he draws Persuade, which is blocked. Uh, is there a 7 here? 
I'm not sure if there is. Gardee, oh, there's three sevens, wow. Uh, that's that's great, all right. Gardee plays, making all A-W-E. Looks like this is the play, unless I'm missing something even better. Pete taking his time, though. Not an easy position to play. You gotta be aware of all sorts of bingo possibilities, like whether there's uh, Something actually, there's not that many places. Now that I think about it, not that many places to bingo. As long as you're pretty sure there's no uh, seven with an S in it making cobs, and I'm pretty sure he knows there's not. All the other bingo lanes are going to score 62 or something, no matter what you pick. So I guess you're just supposed to pick one. Ooh, sad. He just plays do. That's got to hurt. All right. So a missed opportunity there, and Pete continues to draw not super well, but he's probably got something here. I see a neared, but is there anything ending in a vowel such that you can play here at 14B? I would imagine that there is, but I'm not seeing it. All right, oh, he'll play a neared there with all the overlaps. Very nice. 74 for that, and he's got the lead now up by 10. Conrad with some rough draws so far in this match, but he's playing through these racks and uh, scoring as much as he can. All right, Zoa for 32. I see Gad just overlapping a neared for a little bit of points and kind of bouncing the rack a little bit. Uh, what else is there? Dang. And this, yep, okay, he does play Dang. 26 points for Dang. And uh, username got blocked there. Unfortunate for Pete. Could have played username through that A, but now he can't. Uh, he plays Menu, keeping ERS. Good leave. See if it works out for him. No spot for Stagely here for Conrad. What do you do here if you can't bingo? This is tough. He just plays gay, keeping I-L-S-T. And Pete draws another blank. He has been getting quite a few of those so far. No bingo here, but he's going to play ORAD to open things up. He keeps E-O-R-S blank. He's almost certain to bingo with that rack. Unless he draws something disastrous like, uh, I don't know, J-V? Even that might bingo. I don't know. Oh, yeah, Conrad, there you go. Hi, my name is Betsy. Or wait, sorry. Hi, hi, my name is Betsy. Uh, all right, what do we do here if we are Conrad? I don't think there's a bingo. There's, um, yeah, you're probably going to get bingoed on by Pete, actually. You know he's fishing for something. All right, there's Estover. There's uh, Revotes. There's vetoers. All right, vetoers for 72 comes down, and satires. Pretty good rack for Conrad. Did he have Toreadors last turn? Did he really? Wow, I didn't see that at all. Um, Toreadors. Oh, I think he did. Nice find. Yeah, through the AD in Aneard and Dang, he had Toreadors. Very cool. All right, what's the bingo here? Travis's, very nice, moving tribute. 74 points for Travis's and the lead. Up by 10 is Conrad. Pete's turn, though. 10 tiles in the bag, getting close to that pre-end game here. Both players pretty low on time, but uh, they'll have the extra minute after they go over. Five in the bag after, after Pete plays Joying. All right, Dish puts Conrad up by 21. Do you try to go out in two? Probably not with this rack, you don't. There's two tiles in the bag, so you'd have to play nine tiles to go out in two turns. I don't think that's going to happen. All right, big for 12. That's going to empty the bag exactly. And uh, he draws pretty badly, Pete does. I think Conrad's got this one. So Entail puts him up by 30. He's going to go out next turn. So it looks good for Conrad. Anon points out Brit. Uh, yeah, Brit looks like uh, looks like it would have been an option. Yeah. All right. So after the time penalty, it's now a 40 point deficit for Pete, and Conrad is guaranteed to go out with just an I and an L. So looking like a loss here for Pete, and uh, just want to go for the moral victory of not flagging, as I say. Got to get that moral victory. 
All right, he'll play Verl, and Conrad will go out with Lynn for 10. And your final score is Conrad 416, Pete 368. Let's put it up on the board. It is a win for Conrad in game two, and we are tied one to one. All right. So anything can happen here in this match. Two great players, and we are all tied up so far. Okay. I can never remember if Flavory is good or if it's a famous phony. It's been played before by somebody. Define Flavory, but it's good. Okay. Nice play by Conrad. He knows and finds Flavory. 88 points and a pretty good early lead for him. Ooh, only 12 for, for Pete, but he opens an X spot for himself. Interesting setup there. He's got packs or tax or something. And Connor does not block it because he's got fusing. So now probably Coxa is coming if you're Pete here in the spot you just set up for yourself. Yep, Coxa does come down. 50 points for that. Conrad is ahead, though, by 64. Not a very good draw here. Four E's, but he can play through it, I'm sure. What is the play here? All right, Deer for 23. Not a bad score. He keeps E-E-I-S. And in group, pouring. Pete's going to bingo. I see grouping. Yeah, he does play grouping. Okay. So Conrad's still ahead by a little bit, but uh, only a little bit now. There's uh, Jizz for 30, not 39, 35 as one option. But that uh, keeps all the E. Is not a very good leave. Is there a spot for a G? This looks pretty weak. Only 25 points. He plays Gene. Interesting. Keeping the board pretty closed up, I guess. All right. Good draw for, for Pete with the blank in it. And he plays Fetus. Nice bingo. 83 points for that. So now Pete is in the lead after his big X play and his back-to-back -back bingos. He's up by 33. And it's Conrad on turn. I don't think he's got a bingo of his own here. Can he just score and balance a little bit? Uh, I guess there's Gizmo. That's not that good, I don't think. Oh, Mog, nice play. 33 points for that. Nice little overlap there. And what is Pete going to do with this rack? You could play a move. This seems decent. It blocks a lot of bingos for your opponent. Uh, scores 28, balances the rack. You don't necessarily want to play defensively, though. It is a close game. You're not like you're protecting a lead or anything. All right, so a move does come down, followed by Epi. God, Conrad is just battling these very, very vowel-heavy racks. Um, he has been in a couple of situations this match. Oh, yeah, Voema there instead of a move might have been an option, yeah. All right, so Kaz keeping A-E-L-N-R, a pretty good lead. We'll see if uh, Pete draws anything. Salonize for Conrad gives him the lead up by 50. Bad draw for Pete. He draws N-N. That is a disaster fish. And he'll just play off NN for six points. Ooh, Rice Bird doesn't quite fit. Sad. Rice Bird through the sea and Kaz almost plays. All right. What do you do here if you're Conrad? You're up by 46. You don't need to, or not 46, 44. I can't do math. 44. Um, you don't want to open the board for your opponent, really. I think he's going to, ooh, he plays Reba for 12. It's a pretty low score, but he's not going to open anything for Pete, and he's going to block Bingos through the C. Not that those were that scary anyway, but uh, it's a small plus. So Pete's probably going to need to Bingo at some point. If he ever does get a Bingo in line N, it's going to give Conrad some counterplay in line O. So he's not likely to win with a, with a play in that, in that lane, I don't think. At this deficit, I mean, Conrad can pretty much outrun a lot of bingos if he just keeps scoring. So, tough position for Pete, definitely. Like, where are you going to bingo that actually wins you this game? Not easy to do. You're down by 56. Uh, you're probably going to make a low-scoring play this turn because there's just not a lot available for you here. Um, there's just really, like, what do you do with this? I was looking for something here with some overlaps, like... Uh, like Lear, that looks terrible. All right, he'll just play Rid. He loves that leave of Learn. A E L N R. Hasn't worked out for him yet, but we'll see. 
Conrad is going to take out the moved hook and uh, score a pretty good amount there. 27 for that. Conrad is getting to the point where he can just outrun most bingos by scoring points. Meanwhile, P with some disastrous draws to his fish with learn. He draws QY this time. That's just awful. And oh, wow. Conrad bingos. <laughs> yeah, it's a painful game for Pete. He was in this one until late and it's just, uh, just gotten ugly here late. So Conrad is looking poised to get his second win and he's going to go up two games to one in this match. Doesn't look like Pete can do anything about it. Just looking around for any kind of miracle fighting chances Pete might have, but I'm just not seeing anything. Three tiles in the bag, and it's Conrad on turn up by 105. Um, as long as you don't open any triple triples, you're going to be okay here, Conrad. We'll just play Bulls, setting up his K or his W for a good score next turn. That's pretty creative. And... Pete's got all one pointer, so that setup of that hot spot on 6F is not helpful to him. We'll just play Titan to block the spot, and Hut Like is the outplay here for Conrad. Can he find it? Yes, he can. All right. Nice play, nice game overall for Conrad. He gets the win here in game three by final of 455 to 320. So Conrad was down 1 0, now he's up 2 1. It has swung back in Conrad's favor in this match, but we still got six games to go in this match. A lot can still change. All right. Game four gets underway right now, and it is Pete first in game four. He's going to play, what does he have here? B2, maybe? B2 would keep, oh, he just plays butt. A nice, uh, nice short opening there and keeps I-M-O-T. Not a great leaf, but maybe he can make something happen. Pretty clear play of facts here. Conrad plays it pretty quickly. And what now for Pete? Um, okay, got. Seems pretty reasonable. Buta, is that a word? Why am I not recognizing Buta at all? It is not good. Okay, it comes off. And what does Pete have now? Looks like nothing. He'll just play Mew, fishing with A-E-I-L-T. Ooh, Haze is available, but does Conrad want to open the triple-triple against an opponent who's fishing? He does do it. Okay. It's worrisome when your opponent's fishing that they might triple-triple, but uh, he'll open it up, and looks like actually Pete drew nothing. He just plays Les, keeping A-D-E-I-T, trying to draw that bingo. Pete does like those uh, those leaves, like A-E-I-L-T and A-D-E-I-T. He does keep them quite a bit, and sometimes they work for him, sometimes they don't. All right, so in Edita is the bingo from Pete that he finally does hit, and ooh, what does Conrad have? This looks very promising. I'm not seeing anything right away, but I'll bet you there's something. Looking through that H for the triple-triple. Wouldn't shock me if he had one. Anagram Lurchin blank. Uh, Blanchard, Blanchard. Okay, those do not fit with the H in four. No triple, triple. No triple at all, in fact. But yeah, there are plenty of uh, bingos that are regular bingos. Yes, Reliance for 72 seems fine, and... It's back to Pete, who's now down by 20, but he's got that hot spot to work with here at uh, 8D. We'll probably get something here. Or not. We'll just play Chevra. Okay, and the spot stays open. Uh, what does Pete have now? Looks like he's close to some stuff, but maybe not quite. No spot for Anterior or Nitrator or anything like that. Carotin doesn't play, no. Looks like no bingo. You might want to take out the triple. I don't know. There's two triples, it's kind of complicated. Hills, wow, he plays R for two. What a play, I don't know what to make of that. That is crazy. So Conrad just scores 48, and I don't know if the N is the tile that Pete wanted here. 
That is uh, not what he wants, I don't think. You know, fish again. No for nine, keeping A I N R T, train. He draws variant, but Conrad bingos. Wow. Variant does play for 80 points, but now Conrad's up by a bingo because Pete just uh, had too many turns where he had low scoring plays. And Conrad has pulled ahead here. So a chance for Conrad to get his third win in a row, go from 0 and 1 to 3 and 1. Looking pretty good right now. Beep is going to be a nice scoring play, 33 more, and it's a comfortable lead for Conrad, up by 111. Wow. Pete has run into some weird draws. He does get some points for the J, but he had a weird lead, and it gets even weirder with three eyes now. He kept one eye, and he draws two more. That is brutal. I swear to God, Wiggles does this so often. It just, like, bumbles up those eyes. All right, Payne for 36. Conrad just continues to score very, very well. And he is comfortably ahead here in game four. Finally, Pete just gives up and exchanges. Yeah, it's a good point by Ed in the chat that those those leaves of two constants and three vowels are not great at times. But uh, I happen to know that it's kind of Pete's style. He's played like that for a long time. He keeps those leaves quite a bit. Um, yeah, all right, so mound for 22 here from Conrad, and is Pete spot for Al O.W., making Moa and Owl. Oh, he plays way there and said, okay, 33 for that. So Conrad doing just fine here, continuing to score well, and we got six tiles in the bag, so Pete can't bingo twice. He's going to desperately challenge Wield, but it is good. So Conrad is on his way to win number three. So Conrad is undefeated in this tournament and looking to stay that way. His last three weeks of the season, he's got Pete, followed by Jacob Teitelbaum in week eight, and then myself, Evans Clinchy, in week nine. So. Conrad looking to go undefeated in the group, and he is doing it so far. We'll see how these last few weeks go. Looks like right now Conrad's got the advantage in this match against Pete, but there is a long way still to go. Uh, you know, I was just streaming Conrad last week, and he was on the other end of a dramatic comeback. He was down four games to two, came back and won games seven, eight, and nine, and won five to four. So Conrad knows as well as anybody that comebacks can happen in these matches, and you've got to keep your focus for all nine games. All right, playing out the final tiles here, and your final score is Conrad 523, Pete 367. It is win number three of the match for Conrad. Let's put that up on the board. So four games down, five to go, and Pete must win four out of five. That is hard to do, but not impossible. We shall see. Quick look at the schedule for this weekend. This is just kind of a partial schedule. I can't fit the whole weekend on one screen. But uh, as you can see, a lot more stuff will be streamed all over Twitch.tv this weekend. We're going to have Ed streaming uh, Jacob Teitelbaum and Cedric Lewis, another pair of dingoes. And then uh, I see Hubert against James Curley on James's channel. Uh, there's Chris May against Amit right here on this channel tomorrow night, Coco Spell. And then uh, plenty more matches throughout the weekend. Hope you guys enjoy all of those. Looking forward to Will against Ricky. I'll probably watch both their streams at the same time because they're both awesome in different ways. Uh, Will's stream has fewer small children. Ricky's stream has fewer cats. You know how it is. All right, anyway, back to the games. Uh, we have game five getting started now with Conrad and Pete, and it is 29-24. One move in. Conrad on turn now with a J that he plays off for 27 points. Jewer for 27. Too many vowels here for Pete. What do you do with this? Wait, is dingo an insult? I thought dingoes were just like cute animals. Like, I didn't know that calling somebody a dingo was offensive or anything. All right, anyway, pie for not a very many points, 10 points, and finally Pete just exchanges. Um, what does. 
Conrad have now? Coiners, Orsians, Recoins, all those don't appear to play, at least not for very many points. What am I missing? Rescission, nice find by Zem in the chat. Yeah, Rescission through the eye is a play. Oh no, a Dingo is a cheat or a coward. All right, I will plead ignorance on that. I just thought they were cute animals. Yeah, Conrad's a dingo. Not a cheat, but a coward. He's not a coward either. I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, anyway, Sierra Con for 67. Nice play by Conrad, and Pete is going to bingo back, I think. What does he have? Um, something through that N, I would imagine. What does he have through that N? Oh, most of them were... Okay, Archites. Just uh, making Sierra Cons. Okay. So Pete's only down by 21 now. It's a little bit closer. Pretty much a must-win game here. You do not want to be down 4-1. Crucial that Pete get this one. Behind by a little bit right now, but a long way to go. Oh, yeah, dog. That's an animal. I didn't think of that. I can't think of obscure words like dog. What am I, a Scala player? All right, Lethied doesn't go anywhere. But uh, something with the H probably goes there. Lith. Or, okay, Held is a little bit weaker than Lith, I think, but uh, still 35. Ooh, Decrepit comes down. 76-point bingo for Conrad. Up by 90. Bad draw for Pete. Too many vowels. Not looking good for uh, Mr. Angstrom here. What can he do with this? Uh, probably just cry. Wow, I'm learning so much from chat right now, and I kind of wish I hadn't looked. Wish I could have just played ignorance on all that, but uh, I no longer have that plus one ability. Oh my god, Conrad bingos for 140. Controls comes down instantly, and Conrad is up by 158. No, that's not math. 218. He's up by a lot of points. Conrad is up by a lot of points. He began the match down 1-0, and now he's going to win his fourth game in a row, barring some kind of crazy miracle. Conrad looking to go up 4-1, and he's in great shape to do it. Difficult position for Pete, to say the least. Just a reminder about the standings in this group of uh, apparently reverse cougar, pedophile, cheat, coward, dingoes. Um, not a great position for Pete to be in if he loses this match. So if he loses this, it's going to be Conrad 7-0, and me 6-1, and Pete 5-2. and uh, Pete would really need to rally in the final two weeks to uh, make up some ground in the standings. But of course, Pete has me head-to-head -head next week, so things could get really interesting if Pete loses this match but then wins next week. Um, definitely a lot still to be decided, and we will see what happens. But uh, as far as Conrad goes, he is taking care of business so far in this match. Looking to go up four games to one, and he's in good shape. Maybe we should have just go to Dollar Bird. I mean, Dollar Birds are, you know, it's a cool word anyway. It might imply some kind of uh, pro-American bias. Although, wait, Australians use dollars too, right? It's just the Australian dollar. Ooh, Dalmatian, that's good. Puya? What's a Puya? Not a word. Get off, get off that board. All right, so Conrad is up by 100, or sorry, 203. And all he needs to do is not flag. He's doing okay on that front as well. Oh, we could have gone with Zoe. That's a, that's a good animal. I like it. Well, too bad. We are instead reverse cougar, pedophile, coward, cheat, dingoes. That is the official full name of the group from now on, because I said so. I'm the director. All right, res for 54. Pete does score a little bit, but he is still way behind in this game. What is a Ziggit's high? What are you? Well, I don't even. Okay, whatever. Guys for 10 from Conrad. All 
All right, so we're just playing on the final tiles here. Seven in the bag. Not a great board. This might be a slow end game as both players try to find just like any spot at all to play these letters. Yeah, I do pride myself on finding the cutest uh, clip art animals on Google Images. Uh, the hippo is probably the best one. I like the buffalo quite a bit too. Um, you guys will see the buffalo tomorrow night when I stream uh, Chris May against Amit Chakrabarty on this channel. So looking forward to that, I'm sure. You get to see that really cool buffalo icon. All right, so we are in the end game finally. Bag empty. Don't flag, Conrad. That is the one way you can lose this game is if you flag. All right, Tam for 16. That is a valid word, and it makes him draw ever closer to a non-flagging end to this game. Ands. I did not know ands. That's a word? Okay, whatever. Conrad wins by 190. Big, big win for Conrad, and he is up four games to one in the match. A commanding position. Pete needs to win all four of games six, seven, eight, and nine, the sealant one. It is going to be tough for him to do. So Conrad has been unscathed so far in this tournament. Another look at the standings. He is 6-0, and 47-7, oh, and seven, and he's looking to go to 7-0 and oh with a whole bunch more game wins. We will find out if he can do it. All right, back to the board, and Yalpan is the opening play from Pete. 30 points for that, and he draws the blank. You love to see it. If you're Pete, does he have a bingo with this blank? I'm not so sure. Can't fit something like etc. Um, patentee, that's a word. Enter rate, that is also a word. 61 points for enter rate and the lead. Good start for Pete. I see Yurd as the obvious play for Conrad, and he does play it. 25 for that, and too many vowels for Pete now. Where do you play out these vowels? O for 16, okay. He keeps his good old three vowel, two consonant lead of A E N O T. Maybe he'll draw RS, maybe he'll draw UU. We will find out. He draws two vowels, that is not great for him. Meanwhile, Conrad is not scoring that great, only 18 points for Bulk. Oof, only seven for Oak though. And Conrad draws the other blank, he's got horrid blank. I don't think there's going to be any seven-letter words with this rack. And uh, probably not a lot of places to play eights either. So what do you do? Do you pry the board open a little bit? You are behind, and you're holding the second blank. So openness is to your benefit, I would say. Maybe something like, uh, hmm, I'm not sure what. Aeroid, that looks fine. Keeping HR blank. Uh, looks like Notitiae is the bingo here for Pete. Can you find it? Notitiae through the O is almost certainly the play here. Oh, he's got Uintaite also. But yeah, Notitiae is better. 70 points for Notitiae. And I see Chiefer. Uh, there's no spot for a 7, is there? Are there any 8-letter words that look interesting here? Wow, you guys are having some fun in the chat. Look at all those PT words. Pterodactyls with an E in it. That's weird. Ooh, Fricted. Awesome play by Conrad. 107 point bingo and the lead. Wow. All right. Can Fricted win the match for Conrad? We will find out. Pete's got an interesting rack, though. He's got the Z and he scores pretty well with it. 37 for that. Lead of EHSU. Interesting balance of constants and vowels. It might work out. And he draws, ooh, another U. That's not great for him. Uh, let's see here. Was there a spot for he's? You said J12. And then, ooh, yeah, okay. Wait, that would have made EI. It's a phony two. <laughs> All right, Lushes. Nice play by, by uh, Pete. 44 points for that. It does keep only a U, and it burns his S's, but it's probably worth it. Um, all right, I see Warner, one that warns. Oh, also Warmer. Okay, Maw for 32. He doesn't uh, open anything up in line B there. Close game. Conrad by 14. Pete's the one on turn, though. 
Yeah, Heels, that might have been better than Lush's. I think I agree. Would have kept just SU as a leaf, not bad. All right, so Cal keeping a leave of outs, O U S T. And he draws nothing, I don't think. After a nice play of loped, Conrad takes the lead by 33 now. Out cows to surpass and knowing. There you go. <laughs> I think out crows is good, right? And that scowl maybe? But yeah, those didn't play. All right. Peach is going to score. 36 points for Vows, keeping OST. Still a pretty good leave. And looks like no bingo for Conrad here. What do you do? Maybe icing through the sea? I think icing looks pretty good. Takes out that triple, scores decently well. Look at that vowel consonant ratio. A lot of consonants to be drawn. He plays coining, a longer play. There are some disaster draws here. I don't think you really want to get the J or the V or the X. None of them look very good on this board. Meanwhile, Pete just has boldest. He has not drawn any of the bad tiles. Not that boldest plays anywhere or anything. What do you play with these tiles? You could play Boulder. That would empty the bag exactly, and you could draw God knows what with that pool. J, M, V, X, all sorts of garbage in there. He plays Bolds, and ooh, all right. Conrad is drawn pretty decent. I mean, this is a balanced rack with a J in it. Can the J score anything? There's Jar and Raya. There's, uh, what is there? Huh. Conrad's got 25 seconds. The 10 point time penalty might matter here. All right, he plays Ironer, keeping Jar. He's got one spot for Jar. Does he have two? Jar or Raj anywhere? Oh, he's got, uh... all right, that blocks the spot for Jar that I saw. Is there a second spot? I don't know. Pete's got three seconds. He's ahead. Is he going to go over? He goes over. Is there a spot for Mag or Gam? If he plays it, he wins, but I don't see a spot. He needs to play Mag or Gam, I think, and I don't see a spot for it. This might be a loss for Pete. I don't know. If you just play Ma and Ja, I don't know if you score enough. So if he were to just play Ma, that would be 21. He'd be up by 9, and then Jar would be 10. He'd lose by 5. I think this is a loss for Pete. I don't see anything for him. What am I missing, guys? Maybe not anything. Maybe he just doesn't have it here. Four seconds left. Three, two... One, and wow, he just runs out of time. So I guess it was going to be a loss either way, but uh, an unfortunate end as Pete just runs out of time and loses the game and the match. So five straight wins for Conrad. He began the match 0-1, and now he's 5-1. and So a big victory for Conrad Basavichard, and Conrad will improve to a record of 7-0 and in the Dingo group. Um, how does spread work for the timeout? Well, the, the best answer to that question is we hope spread doesn't matter at all. Um, spread only matters as a third tiebreaker. So the standings are going to be um, by match wins first, game wins second, and spread is the third tiebreaker. So hopefully spread ends up not mattering at all. But um, in the event that it does matter, um, we're just going to basically take the same score that you had when you ran out of time and round it up to 50. So if you have a, a loss by 50 or less, we make it a loss by 50. Um, anyway, uh, Conrad is going to be 7-0 and after this match. Uh, I myself, Evan Slinchy, I'm going to be 6-1, and and Pete's going to be 5-2. and So it's going to be Conrad, me, and Pete, first, second, and third in that order in the group. And then Jacob Teitelbaum could also pass Pete in the standings. Things will get really interesting as Jacob... Could go to five and two as well, and then Jacob plays Conrad next week. So a lot of intrigue in this group. Jacob is actually not out of contention. Neither is Cedric. I mean, a lot of things could change uh, in the standings with uh, 
Jaco and Cedric both lurking. A lot can happen. Um, I mean, right now, uh, I mean, myself being at one loss, I am feeling the pressure. I, I cannot lose another match. I am terrified to lose one more. And uh, I've got Pete and Conrad back to back the last two uh, the last two weeks. So definitely going to be a pressure packed final couple of weeks in this group. Uh, it looks like there is a short intermission happening right now with Conrad and Pete. Not sure if they are uh, taking a little water break or what have you, but uh, waiting on those guys to begin game seven in a little bit. Uh, I'll take a look at the schedule for the weekend while we're waiting, and uh, here it is. So you just oh okay back to the game. <laughs> let's go to the game and uh, let's go to Conrad first with uh, looks like Thuy. BT, I would just play Thuy here pretty quickly, I think. He just played Thuy. 36 points for that. So, what now for Pete? He plays Joey for 30 points. And uh, no L for Pan Table. What do you have here that's a valid word that actually plays? Um, I don't know. Maybe just Ba. Just play BA and, and Fish. Okay, or bot. 26 is a good score. 26 and a decent leave of AEMP. No bingo here for Pete. He's close to a bingo if he had an R. He'd have previous, courteous, etc. All right, drivels. Uh, delivers, silver, slivered, all those words are available. So definitely some bingos here for Pete. A chance to take the lead here in game number seven. Uh, wow, Pete really taking his time. I don't think there's much to think about. I would just pick one of Deliver, Silver, and Sliver. They're all pretty much the same. You don't want to waste too much time on a decision like that. But uh, hmm. Pete is really slowing down here. I wonder what he's thinking about. All right, he does play Slivered, which seems just fine to me. Uh, no spot for Dilettante. All right, he'll play Natty for 34. Nice play. Scores well with those one-pointers. And it's back to Pete, who is now up by two points. Very close game. Two-point lead. Um, let's see here. What does he have? You could play Wit up here in the top right. Uh, if I could type, there we go. 20 points for that is an option, I guess. Okay, bid, similar idea. Keeping the W, which is uh, interesting. Um, what does Conrad have here? L.O. Diaz, making a bid, very nice. Wartime, wow, big draw for Pete. 103 point bingo in the lead. Wartime comes down and it's a 49 point lead for Pete here in game seven. And he draws the blank after playing Wartime, wow. What's the bingo here, Chad? I don't see it. Oh, onliner. There you go. 59 points for onliners into the S there. And I would imagine that Conrad's got a bingo of his own. Dengue's. 92 points for that. Ooh, Jenniker. Ooh, here we go. Is Pete going to find this one? 76 points. Ooh, sad. All right. Keg for 46 is a good, a good score, though. 46 points for Keg. And... He is ahead by a little bit here, up by 26. Conrad's on turn. Plenty of time on Conrad's clock. Look at that. Ooh, Abbott to McTabbit. Nice hook there. 34 points for Otik. But, ooh, big draw for Pete. He's got 7R. Could have played Rainsman as well. Plenty of options. And that should put Pete pretty comfortably ahead. Seven tiles still in the bag, though. Conrad's going to keep score. Ooh, so is Pete, though. 64 points for Quiz. Wow. And Conrad has Norris's in source. Does any of those play? I don't think they do. Round C's, Co and Sherry. Yeah, none of them play. Um, yeah, that's tough. One tile in the bag. You're down by 77. It's going to be tough to fish for anything. Oh, Scowry. Jeez, didn't see that. I wonder if Conrad's thinking about whether he should bingo out rather than bingoing now. 
Or is he like me and he's just not seeing Scowry? <laughs> All right, he does play Scowry and he draws the V. Oh my god. Not the title you want, I don't think. Um, there is one spot for it at least. He does have Gov. Oh, and he has Vat as well. So the V will get played. But uh, it won't be enough. Pete is going to outrun whatever Conrad does. So this will be a win for Pete, I assume, unless there is a phony play, pretty much. Just need to play a valid word here. You could play fail. That's a valid word. You could play even, even final. Not a great play, but it's a valid word. All right, fair. That'll work. That is a fairly good play. 25, and Conrad goes out, and he loses by 10. 5-15 to 5-0-5. What a game. So Pete gets the win. It is his second win of the match in impressive fashion. 5-15 to 5-0-5 is quite the score. Nice game by both players, really. Let's put that up on the board. It is a banger. Hello to Jalapic1 in the chat. Hope you're having a good evening. Late night for you in Austin there, almost midnight. All right, marking up the win on the board. It is 5-2 in Conrad's favor. So Conrad will win the match, but we are going to play out these final two games anyway. Two games that can be quite important in the standings. If you look at this group, I mean, it's going to be Pete at 5-2 and two with at least 44 wins, maybe 45 or 6, we'll see. And you look at the number of wins that I have, that Jacob has, it's going to be very, very, very close uh, in terms of not just match record, but also game record throughout the uh, throughout the season in this group. So. Every single game counts quite a bit. Jacob and Cedric are both still alive in the playoff race, and uh, either one of them could overtake him. Could overtake me too, honestly. We will see what happens these last couple of weeks. Anyway, back to the board. We're going to have game number eight out of nine. Two games still to go before we sign off for the night. And uh, nil is the opening play of the game for Conrad, or sorry, for Pete. So it's Conrad now with Vug for 14. So both players with some pretty low scoring plays to get started, but uh, better Rex to come, I'm sure. Uh, not this turn, really. <laughs> kind of still a bad rack here. Uh, you can play Fold, I guess. What's better than Fold? Food, making GIF. Okay, we're Flock, 15 points for that. Uh, the X shows up for Conrad, but it's not a very good X. Not really seeing a lot of places to play that X. Not seeing a lot of places to play anything, really. You could just play like Vire? That looks terrible. 19, it doesn't set up your X for anything. It'd be great to get an X set up somehow, but not seeing that. Okay, Zerich, nice play. Just play your X for 30 points. That's pretty solid. So Conrad takes a small lead here, obviously still quite early. Pete with a pretty fishy play there. 15 points for who? Keeping A-D-E-N. Interesting leave. Um, you have Perv here. I would imagine that's one option to consider. 25, and it sets up a potential Z hotspot you could use. Uh, let's see, what else? Fees. Is that a word? That looks funny to me. Fees is just fine. Okay, fees to unsettle. Nice play. 46 points for fees. Keeping a V and an R as his leave. Uh, let's see. What here for Pete? Now down by 52. Uh, you could play Repand. Seems pretty solid, right? Repand for 36. Not seeing much better than that. Uh, Pete is going to take his time, though. Wonder what he's thinking about. Maybe looking for overlaps uh, underneath fees, like something like. Uh, De no, it's not really a great play. Oh, ped. Okay, ped and fees is 34. It's a pretty good score. Might have been better than repand. Fees is good. He gets plus five for the challenge and got ourselves a close game. Conrad up by. 47, but Pete on turn. Don't play EY. 
could have played EI, but would have made EY. We've seen the phony EY many times this tournament. All right, Conrad's drawn both blanks, but uh, it looks like a pretty bad board to have both blanks on. Like, where are you bingoing? Like, I'm sure you can bingo, but it's going to be not very many points, I would imagine. Like, you could play, uh, I'm not even sure what you could play. You don't want to play Tritus, that makes OT. <laughs> oh, Tertius, okay, nice play. 71 points for that. Oh, Zara tight. That would have been uh, incredibly volatile, opening the double. <laughs> but uh, maybe if you're down by 100, you try that. All right, get for eight. Another little short, fishy play by Pete. Um, keeping A, D, E, N, T. It's a tough board to fish for a bingo on. I mean, it's possible you hit something that plays, but it's not super likely, I would say. Uh, I see Nub here as one option, or just Ben. Okay. Conrad getting pretty defensive here. Doesn't want to give Pete any place to play. Ooh, did he just have Ratten? Did he miss it? Ouch. Unless Ratten isn't a word and I'm making it up. Define Ratten, but... Okay, it's not a word. My bad, Pete. Falsely accused of a miss bingo. All right, Rokes for 40. Nice play, and what can you do here? No E for head note, no M for methadone or thingdom. Yeah, I think I was thinking of a, a torrent and maybe whether it had an anagram, and it, it just doesn't. That's okay. Whatevs, moving on. So, tough situation for Pete. He's down by 134. That's brutal. And he's been trying to hit a bingo and just hasn't hit one. Opening the triple, and I think Conrad was blocked out 100% of the time. Up by 102, you must block triple triples at that score. Even if your play isn't ideal, you just do it anyway. Like here, you could just play like Quia or something, and it's fine. Or Unhair, that works too, yeah. Unhair for 27, and not a great draw for Pete anyway. He wouldn't have had anything. Conrad up by 103. Doesn't have to worry about the clock, though. Still 28 tiles left, and Conrad is lower on time than Pete is. They're both pretty low. All right. Four rating is a bingo for Pete. He's actually only on my 58 now. This is getting a little interesting. Sea rats is a word, and it does come down. Okay. Back in front by 124 is Conrad. And looking like the time's not going to be that bad for him. He's still got a minute. Pretty good amount of time left, I guess. And he's going to score pretty well with Inky, so he is comfortably ahead on the scoreboard. Things are suddenly looking very good for Conrad in this game. Okay. The clock is no longer an issue, I would say, and Conrad is up by 117. Nice game for Conrad. Nice match for Conrad. He's about to be 6 and 2. And Conrad just needs to not flag. Kind of hard to find valid words, though, with this rack. It's kind of tough. He just plays Roji. 19 points for that. And he's got A-E-I-N-U with 18 seconds to play it. Ooh. Pete's not even trying to flag, Conrad. That's not even something he's going to try. Looks like Uncia was the outplay there, missed by Conrad, but understandable under, under time pressure. So Conrad just making valid plays and going out as fast as he can without flagging. Nine seconds left, and okay, he passes, and your final score is Conrad 441, Pete 331, and Conrad gets the win, number six in the match. We're going to have one more game between Conrad and Pete, and then we're going to sign off. All right. Game number nine starts right now. And I see rewrapped as an option here for Pete or wiretap. Well, he played wartime earlier, now he plays wiretap, a planogram of, of wartime. Very cool. All right, lax or something like that. Lax would keep NRST, which is 
not that terrible of a week. All you got to draw is like one, maybe two vowels, and you're in business. Uh, he just plays the X. Interesting. A L N R S T. Hits a lot of things. He draws an A. Does that hit a bingo? I don't think it does. I don't think it does. <laughs> Antwerp. Yeah, that's cool. Could have played Antwerp instead of wiretap if it were a word. Yeah, no antrals. I don't think there's any seven or any eight that plays. All right, so just alt, keeping A-N-R-S, and Pete just scoring and balancing quickly. Plays jig. And still no bingo for Conrad. Need the M for masonry, the E for annoyers. Nothing doing. What can you do with this? That's tough. He plays Yon, keeping A-N-R-S again. Uh, oh, is there a bingo with the H? Is it Schemier? Oh, let's play Mercies. Okay. Out of curiosity, is Schemier a word or am I making it up? Oh, Chimere is not Schemier. Oh, geez. All right. Anyway, Arshine, Shireman. Nice find by Conrad. 86 points for that. And he's still down, but he's down less than he was. Within one bingo, I would say. Kind of a weird draw for Pete. Uh, not seeing a great way to use that that hot spot at 4H. I mean, like what? Oh, you could do Hake. No, you don't have a H. Why do I think you had an H? Rake, R-A-I-K, that's what you have. 39 points for that. Ooh, he leaves it open, okay. Etiology, nice bingo from Conrad. And he's back in this game, only down by a little bit. All right, you got to cover that spot, right? Like you do Rafe now. It just seems like such a hot spot you don't want to leave open for your opponent, but uh, maybe Pete will just keep living dangerously. We'll see. He plays, oh, Etiology, that's an awesome hook. I didn't think of that. Nice play by Pete. 48 for that. And, ooh, what does Conrad have? Is, uh, is kilobomb a word? Not that it plays, but I, I think this might be a thing. Kilobomb? No. Is there something in that? Uh, anagram kilobomb, but I feel like I've seen these letters somewhere in the world. Oh, cumbaloy. That's the actual word, not kilobomb. I don't know why I thought. Okay. Anyway, Malibu. That's a phony, I think. Malibu. Oh, it's good. Very nice. Wow. Did not know Malibu. Define Malibu, but. Oh, it's a kind of surfboard, so it's an adjective, no hooks on that. Okay, that's cool. A Malibu surfboard. Nice six letter word. All right, we got ourselves a game here. Pete's up by 41, but Conrad's on turn. He could play not from the K, K N O T, for 24. That would put him. Pretty close to the lead. I'm aware of Malibu the place, thank you. <laughs> Just not aware of the scuttle word. All right, uh, what do we do here? I feel like not seems reasonable. He'll just play Vin. That's only 19. He keeps N O S T though. Ooh, great draw for Pete. He's got beaters, debaser, and he's got the spot now to play Vine. So I would expect a bingo here. He plays Sabered, okay. And good draw for Conrad. He gets the blank. He's going to bingo right back. This is going to be close. Actually, is he going to bingo? I don't see it. What does he have? I didn't say Nazi. I said not. K-N-O-T. <laughs> All right. Koofy for 33. Nice play by... Pete after Rodents comes down for Conrad. So looks like Pete's gonna get the win here in game nine. Uh, I'm getting falsely accused of all sorts of stuff in the chat. Hate to see that. All right. In the end game here, two tiles in the bag. And it looks like there's nothing Conrad can draw. Nope. So Pete will get the win. He will salvage a three and six finish rather than a two and seven. So 
hard fought match for Pete. He definitely had his chances to, to win games here and there, but Conrad just got it out a couple of tough wins and ends up winning the match six to three, it looks like. So this was quite a night. So if you're just joining us, you missed uh, myself, Evans Clinchy. I was playing against Martin DeMello earlier. Got a 7-2 win in that match to improve uh, my record to 6-1. And, and now Conrad Bessabashard is going to win 6-3 over Pete Armstrong. And that'll move Conrad to 7-0, and oh, still unbeaten in this group. We'll take a look at the standings in just a little bit. Just uh, wrapping up this game first. It looks like Degu, D-E-G-U, are the last four tiles on Pete's rack, and uh, he could just play Edge from the E and Zonate. Uh, I don't think there's any kind of uh, outplay he's got here. Oh, good. Didn't see that. Good making S. Very nice. All right. So your final score is Pete 484, Conrad 412, and that is a win for Pete, his third of the match, and we have a 6-3 to three final. So your final score in the match is Conrad Vesbichard, six wins, and Peter Armstrong, three. Congrats to uh, Conrad on the win. I, I look at the standings. So this was before the night began, how it looked. Uh, but Conrad and I get the wins tonight, and Pete and Martin take the losses. So it's going to be Conrad at 7-0 and with 53 game wins, uh, myself at 6-1 and with 48 game wins, and then Pete at 5-2 and with 45 game wins with uh, Jacob and Cedric still to play in week seven. So looking forward to watching Jacob and Cedric later this weekend. Uh, a look at the schedule. I believe that those guys are coming up pretty soon. Uh, Jacob and Cedric to play each other uh, at 10 p.m. GMT uh, tonight. So that is coming up in uh, less than 24 hours. Looking forward to watching that match. That's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, and then coming up later this weekend, a whole lot more Scrabble. Uh, you can watch Chris May against Amit Chakrabarty right here on this channel about 24 hours from now. Actually, a little bit less than 24 hours from now. Uh, and then later in the weekend, a whole lot of matches. Uh, looking forward to Josh Sokol against Irfan Siddiqui on Josh's channel. That's twitch.tv slash extra typo. Uh, looking forward to Matthew O'Connor against Paul Gallen. That's going to be a banger. Looking forward to that on Matthew's channel, twitch.tv slash 64-bit Scrabble. And then looking forward to the uh, the co-twitching of uh, Will and Ricky playing each other and both streaming on twitch.tv slash wander15 and sonicrick78. Looking forward to all of that. It's going to be fun. Going to be quite the weekend here at Blitz Champs. Hope you guys are all looking forward to a lot of content throughout the weekend. It's going to be fun. Uh, I am Evans Clinchy. I want to say thank you to all of us for joining us. It has been a fun night of Scrabble. Recapping again, I myself, Evans, got the win over... Martin, 7-2, and Conrad gets the win over Pete, 6-3. to three. So congrats to Conrad. Commiserations to Martin and Pete on some hard-fought losses in their matches. All right, I'm going to go sign off, maybe have a beer. Uh, I'm going to uh, say so long for this weekend and hope you guys enjoy the rest of the content on everybody else's channels. Looking forward to all of that. I'm going to toss a raid in the direction of one of my favorite chess streamers. Uh, check out James Canty. He's got a lot of good stuff. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, but as for me, I'm going to go sign off. And so hope you guys have a nice night. Hope you guys have a nice weekend. And until next time, I'm Evans Clenchy. So long.